Papi talk like a native, no cover going to the island, going to the island. I'm in a, I'm in a bucket load of pain, but as soon as we got this course this special, I got so excited. Vlog life. Happy, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I believe it is the 6th of September. Happy Sunday. Hi guys. Today is Sunday and I think it's the 6th of September. Yeah, it is. Because tomorrow's the 7th and I'm traveling. And uh, yeah. let me grab a seat real quick because I'm very out of breath today, guys. Um, guys, I had, if you follow me on Facebook, if, ooh, okay. Uh, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you would see that I had a little meltdown today. Yes, I did. Well, actually, you guys did not see the meltdown. You guys uh, saw me sweating profusely and feeling like I was about to pass out. And, um, you know, I decided, I felt like it was getting the better of me. I was trying to make myself some breakfast. And all my energy, all the wind just knocked out of me. I've been under a tad bit of stress lately um, for personal reasons. And... Um, yeah, so I decided I'm going to do a video and I'm going to shame, I'm going to tell the truth and shame the enemy. So I put it out there because I said somebody out there needs to hear this. That just the simple fact that you can make your breakfast without feeling as though you're going to pass out is a blessing. And I never thought I would get to the day when I would actually be grateful to be able to make myself some breakfast, guys. I tell you, I tell you. So anyway, guys, I am traveling. That's why I'm putting this video up. I don't know when you're gonna see this. I'm not sure if you're gonna see it after my travels or, yeah, I think probably afterwards. Maybe when I get back from traveling, I'll just do a, you know, a whole travel video and maybe I'll do it in certain parts, you know? And you see that bright, bright, brightness coming on me? It's because I'm entering in my room. And I'm gonna show you guys my room because my bed is not completely, whatever. It is what it is, okay? <laughs> I can, however, move this curtain because I don't need it right now. And sometimes, you know, I don't need the curtain right now. So I could just put that down, okay? Yeah, guys, and so, yeah yeah i just pulled the curtain down because i usually have the curtain up when i'm gonna put the air conditioner on but i turned the ac off i've got the fans going and um yeah let me show you guys what's going on here let me show you you ready to say <laughs> oh gosh i just dropped my makeup bag you guys know that the struggle is real when somebody gotta wash their makeup bag out, okay? Cause inside this makeup bag looks so nasty. So this makeup bag got washed out, okay? So that it could be used. All right. The struggle is real, okay? So this is my stuff that I have packed. I have one big piece right here that I have this piece that is gonna be also getting checked in. And then I have my carry-on. Um, over here is my pocketbook that I have fully gotten it all together. I've never used this pocketbook before. I got it from Just Fab and I haven't used it yet. And whenever I could get to this side of the room, I'm always very careful because I don't want you guys to see that commode. But you wanna know what happened? It is what it is, okay? That is a commode. Let me sit down again because I am getting out of breath again. It happens, okay? All right. And for those of you that are saying, why is she so out of breath every second? 
Well, it's because I have something called congestive heart failure. And um, sometimes it really acts up and sometimes you get what is called congestive heart failure exhaustion, you know, so. By the way, I just wanna put a little side note in here, okay? And this is probably going to be seen long after the fact. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I will upload while I'm in Jamaica. I'm not sure. <gasps> I just told you guys where I'm going. Yes, I'm going to Jamaica, guys. I'm going to Jamaica. And I'm taking you guys along with me. And I'm going to be staying in Jamaica like a tourist, okay? I have opted to not stay with any particular family. I'm not staying at my mother's home. We've decided to do it like a tourist, okay? Okay, all right. So, I did see a video entitled, Dear Fat People, and everybody's making a bunch of hoopla about it. And I, you know, I just said, I'm not commenting on that video. I watched it into a couple of minutes and then I had to shut it down because I cannot let that type of energy into these air gates. Many, many, videos ago I want to say a couple of years ago I used to speak a lot about the air gates and the air gates are the gates to what goes in here whatever you let in here or in here gets all up housed in here and then it can affect you in here and for those of you that know I have heart disease I'm not letting anyone play with my heart not at all so when I get all those negative things, and I, you know, when I see those negative type of things, I just have no time for it. Quite frankly, girlfriend did not affect me at all. You know, um, at all. Because nothing that she said relates to me. She doesn't know anything about me. She doesn't speak on my behalf. And she is no acquaintance of mine. So she can keep on moving. She can take that back there somewhere I have no time for her moving right along okay guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get myself done I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup because I'm gonna get my eyebrows cleaned up and my for the person who does my eyebrows she be wiping that makeup off she's like when, when she gonna do my eyebrows she's, she's like Jackie and then she's like cleaning off that makeup off my face and I'm like oh gosh I can't beat my face and go there cuz when I come out I have two or two light spaces cuz my makeup was always a little darker than I am and then you see two light you know so yeah I'll put a little makeup on and then I'll talk to you guys when we get in the car okay uh, I'm excited oh before I do that let's go see if mommy's packed cuz yeah she's going with me Let's go see. Hi, Mama. Oh, you washing something? I hear something squeaking, screeching. You washing? Okay, my mommy got her little baggies packed. She's got two small bags. Those are her two bags there. And she's got a carry-on. And my mother watches some show on BET. My mother is so much more hip than I am. All right, guys, this is going to be such a nice vlog because it is the beginning stages of my trip to Jamaica, yeah, Jamaica. <laughs> yes, beautiful people, we are ready to go. And we are going to go now and we are going to get the nails done. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see the eyebrows try to show you guys a before and after of the eyebrows I'm not sure if you can see them see and she's just gonna clean them up a bit that's all yeah it's starting to feel hot I gotta get out of here oh boy yeah guys I gotta go I gotta get out of here it's time to go I was telling you guys that I have a commode this is the mask that I wear See how far it comes? It's like this long. It comes all the way over here. So of course it reaches over there. So when I have my mask on at night, I don't take it off if I have to use the bathroom. So in the event that I have to use the bathroom at night, I have the commode there so that I can use it. And that is what the commode is for. 
The reason I keep it so real with you guys is because many times I have found that there's a lot of people out there that they may be ashamed of their illness as though it's some fault of their own and they may be ashamed to tell you what they're going through but hopefully when they see my video hopefully they'll feel like they can share so i'll see you guys in the car peace okay guys we are doing the vanny and the petty and um mommy's over there there go mama and after we finish this, after I do, I'm gonna do my toes now, I'm gonna get them done. I think I'm gonna do gel, I never did that before. Then I'm gonna get these eyebrows done, I'm gonna get the, the manicure, and hopefully we'll just have one more stop, and then we will go home where I will get my rest, so tomorrow we can be out of here. Hey guys, we are home. I am so exhausted, it is about 25 minutes past 5 p.m. and I am so exhausted I am about to get a little food in my stomach um, I haven't eaten anything since this morning and I couldn't even finish my breakfast because I wasn't feeling well and I went through all of that to make it and then I couldn't even eat it right um, I got my nails done guys this is it I just like this color I've done it before and I also did my toes let me show it to you we are actually really pooped um, pooped and grateful so that's a good way to be um, I'm excited guys yeah I'm excited um, I didn't tell you guys this trip is gonna be a sad trip it's going to be a sad trip for a couple of reasons. A few videos back, you guys know I told you that we lost someone very dear to me. And her name is Jennifer. It's going to be the first time that I'm going to Jamaica. And I'm not going to be able to see her. You know, she's usually waiting to see us with open arms. In addition to that, um, we have lost a very dear uh, person. The funeral is going to be massive um, he actually has been close to my family I think since before I was born yeah and I'm a grandmother so and I heard that his funeral is going to be so huge that they had to rent out a convention hall just to house all the people that are going to attend my grandmother who has gone on to be with the Lord she was very close to him as well as you know you know my my entire family practically and it was a tragic occurrence he died um, in an accident so so the trip will be bittersweet you know um, I will be chronicling the entire trip so uh, I hope that I do my trip justice and I hope that I'm able to share with you guys the way that I like to. I mean, you guys have to know that I really share with you because I show you guys stuff that most people would be like, what? But, you know, this is what life is all about, you know. Um, the bottom line is I'm not ashamed of my life. I'm very happy with my life as far as you know, I, I, yes, I do, I do, you know, I would appreciate things to improve. However, I never fail to be grateful for the fact that things could be better. I mean, you know, that, that things could be worse. You know, there's a saying, I always say, well, things could be better or things could be worse. You know, so things could be worse. I could be six feet under pushing up daisies and then what can I complain about? Nothing. So guys, I'm going to go get some rest. I will be turning the camera back on around 5 o'clock in the morning, which is the t uh, the time that we will be going to the airport. Peace and love, guys. I love you all for free. Until...
tomorrow. See you later. Vlog life. Happy, happy Monday. Today is Monday. I believe it is the 7th of September. Hello. How is everyone doing? Yes, guys, it is the 7th of September. It is approximately 6.32 in the morning and we have been up since 4 a.m. And we were supposed to be up and out from 5 a.m. However, my wonderful, lovely uh, super, who I've known for over 30 years, assured us that he would come and help us with the bags because of course many of you know we are, are on a four-story walk up and we have like over 60 steps and um, we can hardly make it up the steps ourselves much less the bag so I called him and called him and called him and called him and he never answered you know what praise be to God I'm on my way to the airport we've got our you know, we got ourselves together, we're on our way, so it's all good. I'm not worried about it. He's not gonna break my spirit. Is he gonna break your spirit, mommy? Say good morning, mom. Are you excited? Yes. She says, she keeps, she keeps saying she can't wait to get on the plane and she can't wait to get on the beach. So this is the beginning of our journey, guys. And you guys are going to be with me every step of the way. I love you guys so much, so I will be sharing with you guys. Um, I'm not gonna kid you, I am a little sleepy, yeah, but I'm also excited, so. Everything happens for a reason. So whatever the case may be, we're still on our way. We have a very nice driver, so I'll talk to you guys soon. And peace and love, guys. See you at the airport. And I'll see you in Jamaica. Hey, guys. Stay tuned for part two of this awesome trip we took to Jamaica. I have so much footage to share with you guys. So see you on the next video. Love you for free.